Hello guys and gals of the internet, I am Simi Kios of YouTube and Twitch TV. And it is that time of year again where a FIFA game has come out. So it's time for me to strap on my broadcast style commentary shoes for another season of career mode with Manchester United for the Premier League season. I don't really need to explain the format for this, you pretty much know what to expect. A season of the Barclays Premier League or the Premier League as it's called now with Manchester United. It's traditionally a one season uh, because obviously, like I said in the preview, I pretty much go on to the next FIFA game and do the same thing. So I tend to do just the one year and focus it on the current year uh, of football. So that'll pretty much stay the same. The only thing that is probably going to change is the format of video, as in I'm pretty much going to adopt the editing style of most YT13 and kind of bring these match times down a bit. Uh, because in the mid to late part of last season, I noticed that the videos were going on for half an hour, and uh, that can be quite tedious, especially when there's nil-nil draws or nothing going on for a long period of time during the match. So I'm going to bring these matches down and kind of adopt the style of editing from Mercer YT13. I've paid close attention to what he does. I'm not going to make it exactly like his, because that would pretty much be stealing, I guess, even though he probably wouldn't mind. But... I'm going to try and uh, edit these matches down a bit. Probably put two into one episode. It's pretty much going to be uh, most YT13's kind of football stuff um, to make it kind of shorter and nicer to watch for you guys, I guess. Instead of watching 30-minute uh, slogs of nil-nil draws, it would not be entertaining. So I've learned from that. I'm going to make this, se uh, this season probably the best ever if I can, uh, even though the FIFA 14 one with uh, that match against Colchester United will probably be my all-time favourite match to ever do this style of commentary over. I've loved it pretty much since FIFA 14, and it's been a firm favourite of mine to do every single year, so it's a no-brainer that we're back again to do it for the fourth season. Um, for its fourth season, I should say. Now... Career mode as a whole has gone through some real big changes. Um, you are no longer just required to reach your objectives in the league or domestic cup. You've actually got a lot more to think about. As you can see here, board expectations is domestic success is critical, continental success is critical, brand exposure is critical, financial is low because Manchester United are hella rich at the moment, I suppose, and youth development is medium. That's very realistic when it comes to Manchester United. That is pretty much... That is pretty much on point. Um, we, we don't need to read that bio. It's We all know like Newton Heath of, to Manchester United in 1902 and that stuff. Now this is the one thing that kind of annoys me about this year is um, thanks to the Frostbite free engine, they were actually able to put managers into the game this year. Unfortunately, that has made it for the case for career mode. And uh, I kind of have had a thought of who I could be. You know, maybe Ryan Giggs or Steve Bruce. But I think since Jose Mourinho is the Manchester United manager, they're my team. I think we're just going to have to name him Jose Mourinho and just ignore the fact that he's not actually going to be Jose Mourinho on the screen. That's really annoying to me. I don't know why you just couldn't pick Jose's... It, like, when you pick Manchester United, you can just pick Jose's face as the default option. But unfor excuse me, unfortunately, you can't do that. So I don't know whether you should just pick a, a random guy. Um, that one looks too old. That looks like... Matt Busby, actually, I think. Which is quite funny. I don't know where she had this guy. Josie's not that old, either. This is so annoying. I, I really don't like this about this this year. Uh, they will just probably just go for this middle guy or this guy. One of these two. I think we'll just go for that guy. Yeah, so sorry about that. We're, ju we're just going to have to deal with the fact that Josie's not going to be on the screen when the magic cutscenes happen. I can't have anybody other than Jose Mourinho, to be completely honest. Um, you know, because Ryan Giggs would be totally unrealistic to the fact that... Um, due to the fact that he's never managed before, so... It would make a great story, you know, if I was able to do that, but... I don't know. I don't know if a lot of people would be happy with it, considering this is a Manchester United career mode, and Manchester United fans would be like, why have you done this and not Jose Mourinho? When Jose Mourinho was the only candidate... That really should have been. Hang on a sec. I'm just sure spelling his name right here. It's an unusual one. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm getting it right. My spelling's atrocious. I had to double do a double take there. Uh, let's see. 
yeah, that is correct. So it is Portugal. I need to double check the stuff. <laughs> I'm not totally used to the fact that Jose's in the in the team yet. It was quite a I guess it wasn't too much of a surprise, but at the same time it was a little bit, you know. But, you know, a lot of people would probably judge Jose on last season. You can't do that really. Um you know <laughs> The team pretty much downed the tools and pretty much forced him out after that doctor incident, I think. Um, current customized to put myself into the game. I'm probably not going to make a lot of changes to the squad. I'm probably only going to make a couple of sales. Um, but we'll go more into detail on that in a moment. So, obviously, we're in the Euro League, so it was nice that they've actually put us in there. None of these teams we are facing in the Europa League, but I don't think any of those teams were facing are in the game, so that would probably be why. So it's gonna be really odd names uh, when you look at it. But it's nice to actually do this because I'm not buying Pez this year because I didn't have a good experience with Pez last year. I didn't like it at all, so we'll just deal with this. And you actually got the option to do that. So I think had I known that last year, I wouldn't have bought Pez at all last year either. Like I said, with FIFA, it's, um, it's a matter of preference rather than fanboyism over the game. But unfortunately, you can't have Jose Mourinho's face in the career mode um, for some reason. I don't know why. If the if the matches are in the game, then why can't you pick their their face? You know, it's weird. So obviously, the whole Manchester United team is already in, so I don't have to make those signs. So we already got Eric uh, Bailey, who is a beast. And uh, we actually won tonight against Zorak. It was a Hard fought match, probably harder than a lot of Manchester United fans expected. Um, but we win, you know, we win. And, um, you know, this year being the first of Jose, he's still trying to figure out the squad. He's going to need time to figure that out. I think we should judge him more towards the end of this season rather than, you know, or give him, give him more than we gave David Moyes, let's be honest. I think David Moyes was really unfairly treated. But at the same time, you know, he inherited the squad back then that won the Premier League with Sykes Ferguson the year before. And he was pretty much expected to do it again, I think. Um, but he finished seventh. It was disastrous. I um, wonder if we should do this just for money's sake. I don't think I'm really going to make any signings for a couple of reasons. Um... I don't, I don't think we need the money. I think we got quite a lot anyway. So I think we'll just move on from that. Yeah, the budget is 132. I think we'll bring that down. What's it at 50-50? 74 million. That's still quite a lot. Yeah, I don't think we needed to go into that very much. And uh, I'm not really going to buy anybody outright, I think, for a few reasons. Um, one of them being that if we have a look at the squad... Uh, you already know what it is, but it's very in-depth in terms of versatile players. Uh, Blind, obviously, being an example, can play centre-back, centre-mid. Um, what's another example? Val Valencia can play right rig or right back. Uh, Roja can play left bank or centre Center defense. We had obviously Jones there. Schneidlin could probably play center, like probably center back as well. He's quite huge. So yeah, it's it's full of versatile players. So you don't really have to. I don't really have to focus on buying players. I think the one thing that I probably need to do is on the strike front. Now let's just sort this out a little bit because we might as well set the squad we're going to use on a regular basis because we're not taking part in the preseason so there's no need to put the youngsters on for preseason games. We'll go into sellings in a minute. I like to have excuse me, I like to have a center player and a wide player uh in terms of subs, so Jones Darmian for example. It's the uh one I quite like the look of this one. I like I quite like that one. Obviously, I think the forward two are going to be Ibrahimovic and Martial. Rashford's probably going to be on the bench for the majority. Um, because, well, Rashford could start, I guess. But he's he's been very good as an impact player, if you like someone that comes off the bench. With Rooney, I'm 50-50. 
I, I wanted to sell him in the early going, but really he's the only one that could be considered a leader, per se. Uh, all these other players pretty much, I wouldn't say don't have leadership qualities, but you know when it comes to Rudy being captain, it's um. The thing is, I don't want to start him. Um, you know, I I think he'd be better coming off the bench. But we don't really have a leader, so that's where I kind of want to sign somebody. But I don't really know who. So traditionally, I'd have Pogba up there. But I think with Pogba, he didn't start until the start of the Premier League. So I'm probably not going to start him for the Community Shield. To find everybody. There's Herrera. That's who I want. Herrera should start every freaking game, dude. Seriously. I think I might even make him the kind of captain. Um, on a regular basis, because he, he really does play like a captain should do. You know, he's, he seems to be this heart and soul of the team at the moment. Everyone raves about him starting on a regular basis, so, yeah. Now, you might instantly notice something, that after putting Ibrahimovic and Martial up top, the only, the only striking force then we've got is Rashford. But I think I have an idea for that. Men, men's are Carrick. Carrick, I think. It's going to be Carrick and Lingard, like center, then winger, sort of thing. And we'll leave Rooney there for now. Yeah, that'll pretty much do, I think. Uh, it's just a pain with Rooney, because there is no way on goodness knows earth that Rooney should be starting as much as he does. But... In terms of experience, he and Carrick are the only two that are the most experienced players on the team, discounting myself, obviously, in real life. This is pretty much the starting 11 I'd probably play on a regular basis, per se. Obviously, switch out Mata for Pogba, and then probably put him where Mkhitaryan is, but I don't know, because Mkhitaryan's... I haven't really seen that much of him, basically because he's been injured. It's not his fault. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the squad at the moment. Uh, obviously, I'll bring Pogba in later, and then I'll probably have to switch things around. But the pretty much the pretty much starting eleven would be this, with Pogba where Mata is, and then Mata down to the bench, and then Rooney. Rooney, I don't know. I mean, I did run a test of um, selling him, and no one came in for him at all. So I guess it's probably his wages, <laughs> the big the big uh, concern for everybody. In terms of the roles, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, isn't it? You know, Ibrahimovic taking free kicks. Um, I don't think we have an established free kick taker aside from Marta. I think I know Marta's uh, an established one. So if we put if we put Marta there, perhaps, yeah, that'd be pretty much it. So there's the squad I would actually play on a regular basis. Now we're going to go into the sellings. Now, I don't know who this guy is. He's been loaned out for a year. Johnston we're going to put out on loan because you only really need two keepers because, like I said last year, the goalkeepers rarely ever get injured in FIFA. Like, rarely ever. I don't know who this guy is either. Joel Pereira, he's Portuguese. I never heard of the guy. He's on loan at, um... Bethanistas? What the hell is that? <laughs> Romero, obviously... I tend to keep the guys that are overall over 60, um, you know, for backup cases, so they're okay. Oh, it makes me sad that Bobo Jackson was thrown down to Wolves, but I guess Luke Shaw, you know. But it's funny, like I said, Bobo Jackson's already a 70 and Joe Riley's a 64, but Jose loaned out Bobo Jackson, not Riley. I mean, I like Joe Riley, he's awesome. Yeah, it is Joe Riley, I just need to check that. So we're going to load out this guy because he's only a 57. Valera was loaned. See, right back, right back's a difficult one. Because I don't think I'm Darmian's biggest fan. And Valencia isn't natural right back. But he's probably the best one we've got because Valera's out on loan for some reason. Piero was loaned out too. I didn't really like that either. But I guess with the likes of Pogba, Mkhitaryan... I don't think Piero was ever going to get a game. As much as I probably want to sell Rooney, I can't... I, I guess I can't... Oh, Carrick's already retiring at the end of his contract. That makes sense, I guess. 
Fellaini selling immediately because he has about as much talent as my left foot. <laughs> my little nephew probably has more talent than Maravan Fellaini does on the pitch. He's getting fucking sold immediately. I, I can't stand him. I can't stand the fact that he's a Manchester United player. I, just, I can't stand him. It's terrible. So he's going. And Young's going as well. I can't stand him either. Young and Fellaini, I just absolutely detest the fact that they're Manchester United players. I can't stand the fact that they are Manchester United players. So they are going instantly. If you guys think selling Rudy would be a good idea, let me know. But I don't know. I want to, but I think it would probably not be very beneficial because the players we could probably get in terms of replacement would probably be very high wages or high transfer fees that I don't want to splash too much out on the bank if I want to bring some loan players back in case of injuries. So shirt sales. So as you already know, merchandising is an important part of income for the club, which is actually correct. Shirt sales account for a larger percentage of this income, which is very true. I have about five of them. <laughs> Ranging from old to new. So our most recent board meeting, we set a goal for 170 thousand hundred thousand in sales from player shirts i guess i can't read really one hundred and seventy thousand. i guess uh, this shouldn't be the deciding factor when buying players during the transfer window keep in mind that bringing in popular high profile players along with good performance from many of the key players will go a long way to uh, achieving this goal which is actually correct the only problem is like i said um there's a couple of reasons why i won't buy certain people so we already know that. Domestic says how well the team does in the league. Domestic companies. Is this just a? Yeah, this is just a, what it is. Oh, specific. Um, yeah, so it's just what it is, what that all is. So we don't need to read that. Scout report. Not really bothered. Not really bothered. And we read that. So within two seasons... I can't read this shit. This is so tiny. This writing is so tiny. So within three seasons of the Champions Cup, which is a supposed to be Champions League, win it. So in three seasons we need to win it. I think the short term is to qualify and win the Europa League. Okay. So youth, for youth development, it's grow one youth academy player by at least 10 overall points. Play them in five matches as part of the starting 11 or as a sub. Would Marcus Rashford count? <laughs> Sign one player to youth academy assigned to the forward position, which I guess is a good thing. We probably need to get some forward scouts. So that would actually probably be better than what I was planning, because like like I like I said, the forward position is where we're weakest. We've only got three established forwards with James Wilson, obviously out on loan. For the brand exposure, it's 170 for shirt sales, which we read. The low financial thing is because we're hella rich. <laughs> Within two seasons, increase the club value by 10%. Yeah, that probably won't be too hard. So domestic success is Premier League win the title. Oh shit. And win the FA Cup. God damn, we need to win everything. Oh boy. We're in the Europa League, qualify for the Champions League. So that's continental success is going forth. And then the domestic success is winning the... Oh my god, the expectations, dude. <laughs> Within three seasons, do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can't read this. The writing is so goddamn small. Right. So it looks like youth is taking a big step, you know, with the youth management. That might be better off than buying an established forward like Griezmann or something. Because if I was to buy Griezmann, that would push Martial, Rashford and Ibrahimovic back. But as you say, as you see, rather, we haven't really got much forward cover. But I don't want to push people like Martial and Rashford back for another established name. I do have an idea for that, a couple of ideas actually. One of them is to obviously hire a scout, which we could probably do, because we have the funds to do so. So let's do that.
Yeah, we'll, we'll go for this guy instantly. <laughs> right. Set up scouting network. We'll go... Northern Europe, apparently. Let's go for... Obviously there. We'll go attacker. Go three months. That'll be enough. And we'll probably come back to this when we find somebody. Because, like I said, we do need uh, forward cover. I do have a plan for that. And that plan involves a name that has come up a lot in a lot of people's video. Well, for the research I've done, which could be wrong. A name that has constantly come up is uh, a guy from Atletico Madrid. And Gael Correa is supposedly really good at 21. He's an exciting prospect, apparently. So we're going to ask to scout this guy and see what his stuff is. And we'll add it to the shortlist. What I might do is loan this guy. Because like I said, I'm not really going to focus on the season beyond any season beyond this. Unless it's what people want. And then we could probably buy this guy later if I do want to do that. But like I said, we've got a lot of versatile players. So I don't really need to buy anybody outright. Um, I was kind of hoping for a kind of a cam, but Griezmann is only a striker supposedly, and if I bought Griezmann, I'd have to play him alongside Imprimovic for like crucial first team player and stuff like that. With Correa, it might not be such a problem, and this kid's apparently really promising. So I think with that, I think we are set. I think we're set with everything. We've got a scout going for a forward, and then we can sign him on and probably send Correa back. Uh, maybe in January or something. Transfer offer for this guy, which we can do because it's alone and we don't really need him. So Johnston can go for... Who was that? Millwall. <laughs> I think he's been there before, weirdly enough. I'm hoping to get rid of Fellaini and Young. If an offer does come up for Rooney that makes sense, then I'll do it. But I won't put him up for sale. So Ashley Young, where's he going? Southampton, yeah. That's pretty much his level at this point. Uh, do we go in for his value? Let's try his value and see what they come up with. I almost want to sell Fellaini on a three. Because he's got about as much talent as my left toenail, to be quite honest. International management, don't care. Ah, here's the scan report back on this guy. He's a 79. God damn. I wonder if Real Madrid, Atletico would actually want to sell this kid. I mean, I, I personally want to loan him, if anything. God damn. Um, has he got any... God damn, this kid is immense. I don't know if uh, Atletico are going to push for a loan. Because I, I, I don't really need him for a, maybe a season until we get some prospects from the youth squad in. Just just for some cover. Maybe uh, maybe uh, let's try loaning this kid. I think we'll just leave it as it is, a one year. Because I, I don't want to buy anybody outright and push Martial and Rashford back like I said. So I don't really want to buy another established striker outright. And everywhere else is pretty much covered because we have a very versatile squad. Oh wow, Atletico took it. Cool. So Correa is going to be on the team. Sweet. That's pretty cool. So we got Correa for a loan. I didn't think Southampton would... Re um, well, Southampton only want to pay six and a half. Fair enough. Fuck it. <laughs> so yeah, they budged on Correa. That's that's awesome. So he'll be great backup if Ibrahimovic or Rashford or Martial go down. Injured. Or need a rest. The striking position is just so weak. I mean, we can put Rudy there, I guess. That's probably another reason not to sell Rooney out, right? <laughs> For Laney back to Everton, that's hilarious. 
They've paid seven million. That's his value, even though I value him at fucking zero. But we're gonna do that anyway. Fuck it. If you want to waste seven million on a fucking useless piece of trash, then fair enough. <laughs> He's, he's useless, though. But hopefully Ronald Koeman can get some use out of him. And that's pretty much... Oh, my God. Fellaini's not got a desire to join Everton again. Wow. What an idiot. Oh, my God. And a Herrera at Real Madrid. You've got to be kidding. They paid 20 and a half million. That's a good price. Luke Shaw to Paris Saint-Germain. Where the fuck did that come from? I mean, I know Luke Shaw is a great kid, but damn. No, we're not accepting those. All right, so we still need to fucking offload for Lady somewhere. Maybe I could use him in a deal for someone. I'm not sure who, though, to be honest. Marilyn Fellaini and Morgan Schneiderlin. Marilyn Fellaini to Spurs. Put it up to seven, you can have him. Even though he's not worth jack. Morgan Schneiderlin to Real Madrid, what? <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the hell is this nonsense? Real Madrid to Morgan Schneiderlin. Some of his Latin came in. Oh, really? Slatan's looking to retire. Oh, that sucks. Good thing this is only one season, then. <laughs> and a Herrera one matter. And a Herrera to Liverpool. Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. Matter to Bayern Munich. 29 million. That's not bad. No, Marta's Mar Mar still got some... Used for Jose Mourinho, you know. It's, I, I'm very surprised Mata. Uh, Mata actually. Um, Mata actually stayed put. I thought Jose would have sold him first chance he got. Another fucking offer for Schneiderlin. This time for oh my god, Liverpool want Schneiderlin now. No, fuck that. Twenty one million. That's a very good offer considering his value seventeen. Oh for fuck's sake! Oh fuck it, get rid of his ass. <laughs> Spurs wanted they could have him. I can't believe he didn't want to rejoin everything. That was hilarious. Silverware for Arsenal. I hope so. That's Goss out on loan. We'll do that. Walsall. They seem to always come in to get someone on loan. When I play as Manchester United. These offers are absolutely ridiculous. Morgan Schneidlin to Liverpool. A scouting update. We have an update apparently. Let's deal with these offers. Yep. Yeah. Loan him out. Herrera to Valencia. <laughs> These offers are hilarious. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh my God. It was like 40 to 52. I mean, look at these, look at these really low stats. I mean, I know it makes sense, but I might wait for them for a while because their stats are really freaking low. <laughs> but I need for six and a half. It's probably be the last simulate before we finish up because the community shield against Leicester is coming up. Transfer over for Romero? God no, that would only leave us with one keeper. Everton of all teams. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I didn't really want to sell people outright because the squad's very versatile. Like I said, Rooney can play Cam or striker, even though he's pretty much done as a striker. We have Rojo who can play left back, centre back, or full back. Joe Riley can be full back, and we can always recall like other youngsters back from loan as well, like both with Jackson or Yanazai. So the squad's very versatile. It's only the striking 
that is very weak, and that was the reason for Correa. Um, I might give him a start in the Community Shield alongside uh, Rashford and see how they go. I don't want to drop Rooney, really, so I think I'll just drop him for Lingard at the moment. There we go. Yeah, so Correa will be on loan just as a striking backup. And uh, if you guys do have any ideas, then let me know. Let me know what you guys are thinking. But I personally think we're going to be alright. It's just the striking I'm worried about. Because we've only got like four recognised striker. And we can recall Wilson now. So if, if one of these guys, if we do get a horrendous injury bug with all these guys going down, at least we can get Rashford back. Uh, not Rashford, Wilson. So... Yeah, I think I think we'll be okay. We can always put like Depay or just play one up forward. You know, I just but I don't want to play Ibrahimovic up on his own because he's not that pacey. Um so I guess it would be an idea to put someone behind him to back him up like Pogba or something. It's going to be a, it's going to be a real juggling act um with Manchester United in terms of formation and everything. It's going to be an interesting year, it really is. Um But yeah, that's pretty much it. Last thing we'll do is give Correa the number 27 because... Where is Correa? At? There he is. He's wearing Park Ji Sung's number. But we'll, give him, we'll give him 27. Hopefully he can be more than Fellaini was. But Fellaini and Young, like I said, I absolutely detest the fact that they are Manchester United players. So... Yeah, I think I think we are going to have to play Valencia at right back. Plus, at right back, we have Fuzu Menzar as well. Joe Riley we could put there. Darmian we have there. Jones can play right back. It's such a versatile team that really I thought that you wouldn't really have to change much. But the striking force was very limited. And that's why I tried to loan Correa, who uh, a lot of people were raving about uh, when it came to Real Madrid. So I thought I'd try and out loan and Atletico took it. So... We'll make sure he gets some game time and see how good he is. I will start him up front with the Community Shield against uh, Leicester. But on a regular basis, the only change I would make to this team is probably put Pogba there for Mata, but he didn't join until a little bit later. I think it was to start the season or the game after that. So I'll have to drop my memory on that one. We are about to kick things off. The first game of the season is the Community Shield. The league winners against the FA Cup winners. Manchester United taking on Leicester City. I'll see you at the Wembley Stadium for the first match of the season. Can't wait. I'm excited to get this underway. Hope you guys are looking forward to it too. See you guys at Wembley for the opening game of the season. Peace out. See you later.